It's a Blade Master first fast tech. Let's go! Without shop even. Oh, Let's go! Wow. That is Blade. so rare to see. Blade Master back on the menu. Is this the a variation of the Lin build then? With the double barracks on tier two? I don't know, but I'm gonna be very interested to find out indeed. Blade Master, possibly a very strong late game hero, early game very limited, very micro heavy. Normally, to harass the undead properly at the start of the game, you need heal selves and clarities to heal up, stick around, do more stuff. He's playing without a shop. There is no healing for this blade for a long, long time. Maybe he got some special mercenaries up. Uh, maybe also Focus knows the song. Here, happy. His hero steps out of the altar. What a god. Maybe Focus heard the song where it says, even when Happy's doing something completely trivial, like killing a grunt that has 100 HP left with a death coil. I would go crazy and say, Happy, what a god. And so he just skips grunts. Blade Master looking for the first target here. Would love to steal this creep and item. Happy shouldn't really allow it. And the Windwalk is over, easy secure, cost him a coil at least. And now Ghoul's up for grabs. Focus bucked out of that surround, might even help him. Thank you Funk Daddy for the three year resub, saying Focus FTW. So that was first blood, eh? Yep, got the Ghoul, but Happy certainly got a lot more experience. If you get both the greens in the middle, that is going to mean a quick level two for you. And we know how much Happy loves to try to snipe those claws. Very good for his Lich later. And also, very good to keep out of the greedy hands of the blade. There we go. Shop comes up. Isn't this map beautiful, by the way? Look at the look at the middle here. We got runes. We got oh, obelisks, or pillars. Yeah, you know, I really love pillars. <laughs> well, I know from experience. Those are the runes of Ashara, I guess. I guess so. Different kind of ruins. Where, speaking of which, where are the ruins? <laughs> top left, top left, bottom right, the red camps. Those kind of look like ruins. Upper right as well, where focus is with this blade master right now. Those look like ruins. Yeah, sort of. Looks like Hochwasser. <laughs> like Hochwasser? Yeah, wa? That looks like it, wa? <laughs> Happy creeping a bunch of camps here at the start. He seems to be getting off to a quick a beginning with this DK. The ghouls were taking the green, so was the death knight. And that is gonna be ooh, a quick level three. Man, he's creeping up so much here. Okay, I guess can't do that, that one without Skelly's blade. Mm. Yeah, that camp's rough. Um, camps in general are quite rough. And Focus is not going headhunters. He's going blade master, shadow hunter, double bestiary. Ah, this reminds me of the game that he played on Twisted Meadows. Mass Wyvern with a blade start and then, you know, remember? Remember, Neil? You remember? When he was on the island with a zeppelin and he island expanded with Hell Mass yeah. Wyvern. There's no islands as far as I know, though, here on this Ruins of Ashara map. Nope. Those, uh, would be even more ruinous. We're happy. If Focus were to get him, Blade Master... With a slow start. Very lucky to find Happy here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very fortuitous for him. Otherwise, the DK would have been level 3 easily. Fortuitous. What a nice word that is. You're always surprising me with your gigantic vocabulary. With my gigantic dictionary, you mean? <laughs> 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 Oh, Shadow. trying to last it with the coil. Hex timing needs to be on point. Does he have the damage to get this one? Oh, just barely. That was expensive. Uh-oh. Needs a little bit more, but the heal itself is now there. Okay, rest of the camp goes to happy that is level three then. Moving south. Oh, focus. He's going to try to steal the Merc camp creep. Oh, schnicky schnicky. Focus the master of hex creeping. During oh. nighttime here, very hard for Happy to spot it. 
Look how long it's taking the DK to get level 3. He's still not there. That is fascinating. He's hex creeping the Magi. Off we yeah. go. This is something that Lin did a lot in the WAL Grand Final. Basically every single game. And Focus is play, uh, picking a play from Lin, which is never a bad thing. Bunch of Wyvern out already. Tier 3 soon to finish. Next Boro is coming. I think last time we saw Focus do this, he was not playing TC, right? The TC doesn't fit so well into the 50 supply Wyvern army. Um, but of course, theoretically, for the ultra late game, Orc triple hero would be phenomenal. Yeah, without a TC, these fights will be rough, especially when it's not a ground. But Happy is going Garks as Focus is going for early bats. I love that. <gasps> double oh so my, baby. double Sobi. Well, <laughs> double rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's an equivalent to a double rainbow. Yeah, Holy those do moly. stack, by the way. Um, that is sick mana region. Could perhaps put one on the TC later if there ever is a TC. Although I would prefer to see it just on the shadow, to be honest. Happy again with the shade. This was what ruins Lin. What ruined Lin's. Grand final, there was constantly a shade on his heels. Focus must expect this. If he scouted the main, he should also see the sacrificial pit. But so far, these guys... Oh, with a uh, crystal ball now. That's potentially three shade reveals. Quite nice. Yeah, true. Shade was uh, making Lin's life very difficult recently. You see the reveals coming. Wait, where did he scan? We scanned the creep camps, bottom right, the shop and the lab, but Happy ain't there. Fascinating setup. So far, Focus is definitely struggling with levels, but he's catching up with Wyvern. Insane creep speed, no base harass whatsoever just now. Little more fortification on that blade, which is nice to have. And we're approaching the base now, I guess. Focus sees the sack pit. And must be aware that there's a shade. Alchemist third for Happy, as he basically always picks against Mass Wyvern. The upside here for Focus is that uh, with his two heroes, Shadow Blade, he has good target fire and could perhaps look for some Alchemist kills. Especially if there were no rings. But there are rings. First big encounter now. Bad Rider coming in. There's a hex on the DK. The goggle goes down. And Focus might just back off. Oh, the Shadowhunter was greedy enough to go for the Tome and instantly punished. But does have an inbound. Oh! So oh, greedy! Dude! Dude! That's a lot of damage, man! Onto Happy's units. The Shadowhunter healing didn't work. Once again, remembering the Happy Lin series of WAL, where Happy threw thousands of damage onto that Shadowhunter and that one just refused to die. That could be the can opener for Focus here as well. And I guess that was a better exchange for Focus, right? He lost one Wyvern, uh, but he got more kills. He got more experience as well, thanks to the bats. And the Shadowhunter still has some crazy mana regen. The Blade Master's items, though, worry me. Not very impressive at all. That's right. But the damage is coming from Wyvern. Oh boy, does it come from the Wyvern. Shadowhunter, the damage, uh, the, the mana region is insane. Trying to play around these creeps here still. Easy. Oh, Lich had the Nova animation up already, but why weren't just too good? Oh, shade now revealed. Dude, this is one of the few games where you would like to have the regular old, old crystal ball, actually. <laughs> Mantle on the ground. Oh. Pixel. Oh, I lose the mantle. It's cold outside, bro. That's right. Bad Rider again. Focus is making great adjustments from the Happy Lin series. Earlier Bad Riders, when there's no armor upgrades, they are quite a thing. And this statue trailing behind. Man, I would love to see an orb of lightning on the Blade Master detonate here. <sighs> Happy's trailing. He hit all of the aliens right there. One Wyvern gonna go down right away. Blade Master looking for kills. Gets a statue. Destroyer does get away though. But happy standing army. Outside of the heroes. 
It's almost non-existent. Exactly. I oh, mean, I would love to get that orb of lightning, but yeah, as we said, not home in a long time. TC would be amazing, but it's only 40 foot left for focus. He's got one more heal wave in a moment, and then it's going to be time to back off. Speed scroll, looking for a kill, but the dispel is ready. So I said he's going to go for the statue wisely. Oh, destroyer morph, kind of a mistake there. He morphed it, right? Yeah. And lost it right away. Dude, focus on looking bad. Yeah, I looking agree, bad. Man. I agree. Learning from the best. Oh, he got that shade, apparently. Sweet. Crystal Dude, that fight with an orb of lightning would have been a disaster for Happy. But still, levels very, very, very low. Big mana potion here. <laughs> Kept from Happy, that's big. Blade comes back for more. Really? Very hurt already, but he's got the involved. He's feeling feisty. Shadowhunter's got the mana coming back so quick. There goes the detonate. The best row is dead and double level up, double level fours. Let's focus. Seems to definitely take a lead this game. Items are amazing as he needs a lot of heal waves. He needs a lot of mana. When is it time to break that upkeep? Look at the mana region, bro. Look at it. Look at it. Tick, 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 tick. Finally, some claws. All right, that's what I was waiting on. Claws plus eight for the blade. It goes a long way. Next fight over the creep camp uh, again. Happy still no armor upgrades. This is really interesting. But he couldn't spend or spare the resources for at least one or two armor upgrades. And by the way, he went for uh, dark ritual. So there's no frost armor to protect the heroes. True. It seems also, like a mistake to me. Don't you oh, need frost armor? I guess. For the alchemist, but especially against blade master. Would also help a ton for freshly morphed Destros. For another call, crit 156. Oh. Are we onto something yeah. here? Yeah, I gotta say, the, f the Dark Ritual, I think, is a rather big mistake by Happy. Against Farseer, I think you can afford it. You don't need the single target protection, but against Blade and Hex, man. I think that's uh, that's gonna cost him later. Red spot time. If it hasn't already. Focus has no TP though. Does Happy identify this as a weakness? Lots of money was spent on invu potions, rightfully so. But for now, it is creeping. Hood of Cunning, which is probably better on a Shadow Hunter, but at least a little bit of agility for the blade to get that damage in. Gonna get a heal scroll as well. I think Focus has been very low on heal scrolls so far, right? Heal scrolls go great with his army to yeah. counteract the AoE from the undead heroes. Now he's gonna have that as well. And lots of gold still. 600 plus for Focus. Orb of Lightning, maybe, finally? Please. No. Still not getting it. It's weird. He's got the gold and then some. And the shade is back. Is he revealing again? Oh, just missed it barely. Oh, he's running it. into it. Hey. Ah, focus not identifying it quick enough. Getting Ensnare ready now. Happy gets armor upgrades. Number one done. Focus knows that a creepjack might be imminent. He's being very cautious with his air units. Oh, but that was still a big connection of the Coral Nova Acid Bomb. One bat goes down, more will follow. There goes the second one. Happy, starting to take control, perhaps? Folks, though, has bought the time for an expansion on the right. And despite there being shades all the time, I don't think Happy saw it. I think the shades have been True. trailing the orc army for a long time. Yeah, they were pretty present on the left hand side if something that's invisible can be present but you know what i mean focus 700 gold get that orb buddy 
Yeah, if they can just stick around here and make it a stalemate at the red, that's great for focus. His mining is going to kick in right now. There we go. Peons were ready with a slide instantly. This is still a great game by focus. Precisely. A little help of the creeps with the boulder again. Chip damage on the heroes. Waiting for these crits. Frost armor is missing so bad. He scouted the expo. Second shade scouts the expo. It's not the sh second shade. It's the same shade. I think Focus realized it as well. He sees the army now, all of a sudden, for no good reason, moving eastward. And he's going to go for the DK Focus, trying to bait in the air units. Bad Riders connect. How many kills is it? I don't know. It was too fast. But still lots of destroyers left. Ooh, Wyvern getting saved by the bell. Can't detect these Destros. Five Destros. Only one of them has mana. Everything clumped up. New bats. Quick in production. Destros fired up. Nice retreat by Happy though. Just in time. The bats almost got into range, but not quite. Happy's playing around the cooldowns. Wants to make use of the acid bomb and frost uh, Nova. But now the bats connect. At least once. DK, by the way, in serious trouble. Close to having to TP out. This was a good exchange for Happy, but Focus has the expansion running. <laughs> Blade gets another backstab in, but that's about it. Happy, of course, calculating this well. Still fighting, even without the DK. Outstanding destroyer micro here by Happy as his blade so often. Happy as a supply lead. Focus needs to keep producing. Pump out those wyvern. He's still rich. So much gold on him. Can you please get an orb of lightning, dude? How amazing this orb would have been. Happy's still in trouble. Oh, oh sick is the spell. So oh fast, my dude. god, so fast. What a god. What a god. <laughs> He's so fast. So fast, so quick. Blade Master now hurt, by the way, by level 5. One crit! Could find a kill right here. He's looking for the Hex target. What's it gonna be? DK, in serious trouble. The Frost Armor, dude. Oh! oh! The crit almost kills him! The Shock Drum does it! And that is GG. Focus puts his name on the board. Head scratch to celebrate this man. Gets the first victory over Happy in this tournament. We got ourselves a series, Demo Man! Hell yeah, that's what we all wanna see. Great game by Focus. He played that so, so well. Happy also with some really good moves and not huge errors, except for one. No Frost Armor. That was definitely the big mistake of the game. Whoo! We are cooking up a great, great day of Warcraft here for you, everybody. But... Let's not uh, get too far ahead. This was an odd map where things are maybe a bit imperfect. A map that Happy doesn't practice too much. Sonic also took the one o versus Focus on an odd map and then things fell apart quickly. Focus now challenging Happy on map 2 on springtime. And man, if he takes the 2-0 here, if this strategy just works out, Happy is in deep, deep trouble. Map number 2. What are the odds that Focus can do it again? Let's go. And we got the tension now in the air. This is exactly how we want to have it, ladies and gents. This map, though, we expect Happy to have a more impressive start to the DK. I expect the creep route to be more well-developed. I expect level 3 and hero levels to be earlier online to make Focus's life difficult. Lich, on the first map, took forever to get level 3, right? Even the DK took quite a while, and the insane undead hero levels never really were there exactly. And the Frost Armor. Man, oh man. I sure hope he's gonna go Frost Armor this time. What is Focus doing now? I would kinda love to see a Fascia just to pave the way for the series. He's going Blade again. I like to see a bit more variety in the play, you know, keep happy up his uh, heels. So on game three, he can't really know what to expect. But he will scout anyway. Maybe it's not the end of the world. But things things are quite exciting, man. Blade Master fast tech into Wyvern. Take take a piece of lint, mix it with your own favorite strategy, and then own. Um, but is there a chance that he finds double Subi Mask on this map again? 
in theory in the middle there is, but uh, they're a lot harder to snipe than on the other map. The big football trackers, I think they're called, are hard to bring down. And these center camps will be of premier importance. Um, but then again, early on tier 2 with Hex and a, a couple of Wyvern, Orc is pretty strong. So you bring up a good point. These center camps might be a big, big deal for the mid game. And with Wyvern, you do have a little bit of a window. But then, of course, there's also Coil and Nova to make sure you secure these. How aggressive is the blade? Focus says yes. Moves across immediately. There shouldn't be a chance for this mammoth, as it has uh, basically no armor. But the blade arrives for the two scars. Heading straight for the ghouls, not the creeps. Expects Happy to play around those perfectly. And that's a great calculation. That's the first kill here on the blade. Focus again with a nice little start. But that means the DK gets full experience here. Aiming for revenge for these War 3 Champions Finals Season 16 when Happy robbed him of the big celebration. I like that. Happy always sends his hurt ghouls back. Why deal with the healthy army? Why deal with the creeps when you can just get an easy snack in the main? This is a nice play by Happy though. Expecting the blade to be at the green covers that while the ghouls take the middle. And this will be level 2 DK in no time. Remo is such a happy fanboy even when he does something so trivial like moving the DK to the right. He says, oh, Happy, what a god. <laughs> what a god! <laughs> oh, they lasted now. But the blade is revealed. There's an item in the middle to snipe, maybe, to steal. It's only gauntlets, though. Well, you might want that gauntlet if your opponent is throwing Coil and Nova at you. It's extra HP, not bad. Makes heal selves more effective, not bad. And Focus survives that early game again without a single item usage, without a single unit on the map. And he puts himself in a solid position. I was trying to pick up the item from the other green, but Happy smartly Players destroyed that uh, Slippers of Agility, which it was. Which the Blade would have certainly enjoyed. DK now creeping across the map. Double, double gloves for him. Might be the worst drop. Like, even rings are really good for DK and Alchemist later. I keep on saying the same thing, Mr. Remo Demo Man. Great minds think alike, or as the Germans put it, two idiots, same thought. Just realize this mammoth makes the same sound than it, when it dies than you make when you wake up. Uh, Pretty much exactly that. <laughs> yep. Good times. All right. What's the special creep route now? The tier 2 hex creeping to target big items is a key part of the strategy, normally, but this time Happy has level 3 perfectly. Was it 5 green camps? Yeah, right? 5 green camps that led to level 3 death knight. And now he's got a powerful coil. And the blade is still hurt. Does he dare to go in for the last hit? For sure. 1.4. Happy will he reveal? Oh, oh too early! But he got the item! Got the item. It's a big one. It's a really big deal. Big heal potion right there. And Ensnare. Again, today is the day of Ensnare. Today, International Ensnare Day. The BDSM community, I want to <laughs> say, celebrates this with open arms, but I don't think so. Or a pair of tied wrists. Even more fitting. Lots of illusions running around, trying to get that movement. And for a focus, of course, Shadowhunter Wyvern Tier 3 Rush. I would say a couple of moments here in this early game. Uh, going Focus's way when usually that would be Happy's moments, like Creep Last Hits against the uh, Farseer. You would never get these last hits. But, oh my god, do you... How, okay, this is once again something very trivial, but he knows that Focus is going for some creep manipulation and he got the illusion in place to delay that so his main army is right there and tries to punish that, but he can't! 
Focus was ready with the Hex counterplay, prevented the coil, so he gets the last hit and the item. Robo the Magi, very good for the Shadow Hunter as well. Not quite as nice as Double Sobi Mask, but pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Liches, and especially this would have been amazing in Happy's Ice Cold Hands, which turns into quite a damage machine. Apart from that, we got the same setup. We got the early Gargs, we got the early Bats. They will run into each other, fly into each other, and then there's no winner. And we got the other big center camp, got the Quetzalas boots, which would have been sick for the blade, of course. I wonder if it's worth it to keep them for the Alchemist. A bit more armor, a bit more attack speed. Mm. I would sell them, though, for the gold. Yeah. I guess you can hope to find rings somewhere else. Worst case, go for a protection scroll as there is no dispel. Sentry words, by the way, found and placed. Really good for focus if the shades run in there. True, big true. Late Master still needs to work on levels. Again, cutting it close, but there we go. This time we get a heal scroll. Quite early on, I guess he had the influx of cash with selling the scroll of the beast. Healing up now. Levels still fairly unimpressive on focus side, while Happy is creeping very safe. In the corner of the map, next to his main, but he doesn't quite have the tier 3 upgrades ready yet. Focus soon to be at 50. Happy still a bit behind. Items are looking quite bad, to be honest, on Happy's side. I was just trying to fly in, find some targets. Happy's right in position, though. Seems like this is something that Focus uh, likes to do quite a bit. Early on tier 3, hit the undead base. Seems like Happy's very much aware and prepared. Levels aren't there either, so Focus has to step back. Happy knows, of course, another shade. But that's the thing about shades. Like, if you know that they're there... And not that powerful, or shouldn't be at least, but happy with the knowledge she got going for that la uh, creep jack. Bats detonate, Garg gone, a little bit of freedom for the wyvern, but focus rather safe than sorry. And of course, his blade master is revealed the entire time too. Don't risk anything, and that gives the creep spot to happy. Shade though still sees where the orc is going. Oh, there's the sentry. Rip shade. There's a TP on uh, Focus, he just bought it from the shop, Happy should have seen it. That clearly signals that uh, Focus may want to go for a base dive. <laughs> a player's forces are under attack. Happy goes for another Acolyte, replaces the shade immediately on Focus, we see again. Only upgrades, trying to stay in no upkeep for as long as possible. And, of course, level. We got the heal scroll again. We get the Shadow Hunter close to three. The Blade Master still worries me a little bit, but he got the big heal potion. That's fine. And now we got the levels, and there is big chunks of XP ready at the bottom left-hand side. Destroyer scouts it early. Big level up for the Shadow. Gets the level three right here. What's the item? Hood of Cunning, once again. Decent item. Not the best. But a bit of a stat boost for the heroes is good. And uh, this Shadow Hunter is going to need to use this TP pretty soon! Oh my lordy! Again playing with fire. Acid Bomb for the tick damage. That is lethal. Gotta whew, use the heal scroll to not lose the bad riders. And again, focus is ultra rich and it's not going for an Orb of Lightning. I am... Not a fan of this choice, but it is a choice now, like... Clearly. Also sold the robe, which is a pretty good item for the Shadow Hunter, but prefers the gold. Let's see what he invests Tiny? into. For now, it's more upgrades, more bats. Also happy this time working on upgrades pretty quickly. Zero two on the way. Yeah, that was clearly a mistake in game one. Ooh, unholy aura. That is amazing. Not only for movement speed, but also there is going to be damage. Thanks to Acid Bomb over time. Unholy Aura always helps with that. A little bit of a damage boost thanks to the Tome as well. Focus dodging yet another bullet. Dude, this is insane to me that he went Dark Ritual again. <laughs> he got so owned by this level 5 Blade Master, and he's like, whatever. Thrust armor overrated. <laughs> 
But uh, he does have two armor upgrades. This is the critical moment where the bats become really inefficient. Still one shot guards though. Nova Acid Bomb also doing good damage here. Always trying to keep the aliens above the trees. Happy's trying to bait the opponent in, bait them into more nukes. The air units, that is. Two attack upgrades for focus. Two to dest three destroyers. Ah, gets them all clumped up. Oh boy. Massive, massive Nova trying to get the alchemist now. That might work, but there is a talisman of evasion. Dodge, invo potion as well. Shadow Hunter on the menu now. There's heal wave at the ready. And so we disengage, but that was a nice sweet fight for Happy. For now, crit, 117, nuke, heal wave ready again. Oh my god, dude, everything here is so close. Everyone is close to dying. Destroyer goes down, more experience. Both orc heroes close to the level up. Alchemist has to TP out. Good transfer here by Happy. Once again, though, the frost armor lag is visible. Yeah. And I wonder, like... If this was a great Dark Ritual game, I would be like, okay, at least getting lots of value from Dark Ritual, you know, like maybe with a Dark Ranger level 3 or something. But has he even used Dark Ritual this game? I'm not I'm too not sure, sure because there's also no Dark Ranger, of course, for additional skeletons because there's no yeah. ground units. So there's also no additional War of Necromancy or anything. I really feel you like, what's he supposed to eat? Garks? That's not great. Cools, they disappear. Yeah, what Is he did once or twice, which was kind of cute, was eat the gargoyle before the bat rider connected and then the bat was just standing there which That's is sick. a nice flashy play but is it worth not having frost armor i don't really think so next item ring of region sold on focus aside gloves of haste kind of nice you got the double level fours which is sweet oh the big mana was gone in the last fight is he really willing to engage he got the supply lead a massive one Nova Acid Bomb, big damage right away, but now all the undead spells are on cooldown for a few seconds. Shadowhunter, of course, ready with a heal wave, but I think Focus needs a heal scroll if he actually wants to take a full out fight here. Acid Bomb working over time, trying to retreat. Oh, re engaging. That was Nova. That was also one of the last Novas. This was also one of the last coils. Very little to work with if you're happy. And the heal wave is still ready. Shade is giving. Great vision here. Man, just one. Witch Shocker for Sentry Wards would be so good. But of course, very expensive to get to. Coil Nova again. Acid Bomb to follow. Lots of losses here at the moment. Though that uh, better gets kill on the Garg. Time for Gargs might be over. Maybe it's just time for Destroyers with upgrades now. Yeah, I agree. 150 crit. New Garg coming in. Statues and he can... Continues to spam Gargs. When will Focus finally get the last on the creep? It's all about that creep. Wait, what's the item? Is it the serpent? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. There we go. And pretty good experience on the Orc heroes. Four and a half on both. We saw earlier how strong double level five can be. Blade Master's items are a bit worse though compared to before. Happy is playing a very economical game. Only breaking up keep now at 51 food. Not ideal, but no resources at the moment for more. We do have a heal scroll. We do have a dust. We do have a raging focus. This is Happy's loses map, mind you, and it's still so close. Two raiders, by the way, they add in now a lot of target potential, target fire potential. The dusts have missed. Good control on the shade there. Happy didn't sacrifice that one too easily. A player's forces are under attack. Good scouting. I love that bad rider in the back to look for a creep jack. Indeed, a creep jack is coming. Yeah, but so simple. Gone. Yet so effective. 4.5, 4.6. Not having a TC in these mass air battles proves to be the right call for now. Yeah. True. Especially with that unholy aura, of course, for movement speed. Got a Kodo Beast coming now as well. Don't know if it's got the upgrade yet, but regardless, it's going to add in a lot more damage. Yes, he does. Can always... Uh... Ooh, was about to say, check the Kodo damage, but it's not there yet. You know, if it says yeah. plus four, the upgrade is there. If it says plus two, oh. it's not. 
And it is plus four indeed. This would be the perfect position to fight for focus. With no the Burrows in range, Peons no can hop way. in, add in even more damage. Happy would be very brave to charge in here. Would not be the right call. Focus is spending a lot of time in upkeep without getting much done. But he forced Happy into upkeep as well, and now he plays with a 10 food advantage. No level 3 coil, no level 3 acid bomb, uh, level 2 acid bomb. It's coming down to the next fight, I say. Ensnare testing the waters. No invo focus. focus is a decent fight here. He should be double level five. And in we go. All the aliens are clumped up. Where is the Nova? There it is as well. The bad rides a little bit late to the party, but now they come in for the connection. Taking out one, taking out two, but not too many Wyvern are left. All of a sudden, turns out the Wyvern are quickly dying. This will be the time for Happy to turn it around. Late Master misses the crit there, I think, against the Alchemist. Even without Frost Armor, he is safe for now. And how did that army just melt away? There was 40 food on both sides just disappearing. Shadow Hunter with a six second cooldown on the heal wave. He is out of that fight. How much can the Blade Master do? Raiders throwing ants there. Alchemist's invo potion last second. DK doesn't want to stay in that fight. Ideally, get this oh. statue. Didn't get it. Oh boy. Focus is bending Bruce. Calls the game. This fight was a slaughter. He had a 10 supply lead, didn't he? Yep. And suddenly 40 supply was gone. <laughs> yep. That was so quick. Jesus. That was also, it also happened so fast. I don't even know if he made a mistake. Maybe he needed more heal scrolls. The one thing that I feel like he's doing and it's hard to avoid is he's clumping up a lot against yeah. all these spells. Yeah, that's true. If he can split a little better, then that would be fantastic. Second armor upgrade helped. Happy, but yeah, I thought that was more possible. This looked so one-sided. <laughs> I'm kind of baffled how one-sided that fight was. Hero levels weren't even crazy. Yeah, that was just a complete annihilation. Maybe like splitting has to be the priority in the coming maps. Um, for focus to pay attention to it. Of course, it's way easier said than done. Happy's always going back and forth and trying to bait focus to chase him and then everything clumps up naturally and then he can throw in those nukes from range. Happy knows how to play against this. So does focus though. He's been playing a really good series so far. Exactly. The series is tied one to one. So Remo Demo, would you please say the thing? And now we're down to a best of three. A best of three? Best of three. Best of three. And that best of three starts on Turtle Rock. Focus is loser's choice. Go, 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 go. We are so ready. The last remaining quarterfinal. We got Colorful, Sock, Moon, all these heroes already. And now one of these heroes will join them. Whew. Cross position, Turtle Rock. Let's go. All right. Focus here with his first loser's choice. Turtle Rock, I think, um, is a really good pick for Orc, mainly because of early game creeping. We saw how big of a difference it makes, depending on how quickly the Deathline reaches level 3. And I think even with an outstanding early game, Perhaps not a perfect early game, but an outstanding early game. Normally the undead can't really get level 3 here, right? You take the green camps, that's easy creeping. That's also lots of items for you, but it's not that much experience. So if focus is on Happy's tail, you might be able to prevent level 3 DK for a long, long while here. High stakes, of course. Do you want to go up against Happy's match points? Probably not. Happy at the 11 o'clock. Again, DK, of course. And what's Focus gonna do? Is it a Blade Master? No. He is switching up now. Yeah, Farseer, first time. I like this quite a bit. I think especially on this map, this guarantees for you that the Death Knight won't be level three in time. And then you can play the mid game, possibly with a lead with Shadowhunter coming out, Wyvern and Hex. We're still very much uh, expecting the Mass Air. 
but with a Farseer, a much stronger opening. Not when it comes to last hit though, Happy is the master of playing around this. R thinking back to Rara 1, that perfect game against Soen. Couldn't help but feel bad for Soen. But it is the fastest tech in the game. And Focus with the Chain Lightning might be able to do some damage, especially Echo Damage is possible. Chain Lightning Wyvern attacks, this is what made him very, very strong previously, previously to the late master build. Ooh. I think I like this quite a bit by Focus. If he creeps both green camps, it's gonna be level two for the Farseer right away. Good for the Farseer, obviously. And also would take that experience away from the Death Knight. So s simple and obvious, yet almost nobody does it. Mantle, by the way, really good. But might not go on to creep uh, the rest of the suggestions from me heading up north now to face the Death Knight. Do we know if that Acolyte got the lasted on the wolf? Hmm. I think he did. I think he might have, yeah. DK 128 XP. Focus moving across to the other green. They're sharing the map identically. And the second mantle would be quite something here. Bang Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's Let's why go. they call me the prophet. That's actually so sick, dude. Plus six int early into the game. And for the rest of the game, by the way. This isn't just more damage, there's also more mana region for the rest of this whole game. This is really nice indeed. Happy, though, has slipped the net. Focus doesn't know where he is right now. It's nighttime, it's difficult to scout. Happy, is he gonna think about a push into the main base? That's difficult to manage against Burrows. Well, there's no spikes. Shop finishes, but for how long? Focus has a TP, obviously doesn't want it. The ghouls block the repair peons. What a god. <laughs> what a god. Good thing is for Focus, he doesn't need healing that bad right now. Though that might change later. Ghouls here in the main base. Happy, very aggressive with his opening. This also means that there's gonna be a uh, pretty low experience on the DK, but also means very low lumber. For focus, there's no way you can afford all these upgrades on tier two. Slips a possible surround. There's so much happening now on Happy side, and yeah, these turtles are gone indeed. Happy isn't done yet. Beastery up on the chopping block. Yeah, that one's gonna go down as well. It's a big delay on the wyvern. Very unconventional start here by Happy. We see this very rarely. Farsi was chasing down for a kill, got the ghoul, but didn't get level 2 yet. And man, the wyvern are going to be late. But I don't think it has to be a huge disaster for focus, mainly because also the DK was slowed down. He doesn't have any claws yet, doesn't have any mantles yet, is far away from level 3. I would say this is still very playable for focus. Second beast to cancel. Lots of peons, not at Lumba. What's he doing with the time? He's hunting ghouls, but happy. Is there to the rescue. Alright, final B series now is coming. This one should be finishing, but especially the tier 3 is going to be so late. Happy's going to be way ahead on tier 3 tech. This is the biggest result, I would say, of this whole early game. Yeah, Wyvern tier 2 is possible, usually paired with an expansion. Everybody knows it's not really possible on Turtle Rock. Happy's ghouls all hurt, but there's no chain lightning here. Great region on the Blight. And Focus is trying to do what Happy did to him, delay that uh, second production building, but what are the odds that he gets that? Oh, with the wolf, the damage is okay. Oh, Close. That's actually kind of big. Slaughterhouse is really important. Oh. Threatening us around, though. Saves it. Nice. He's coming back again. He's not done yet. He's exposed to Coil Nova, though. Nova? Oh, no speed scroll! And that's the surround. Doesn't even look like one. But that's what Happy does. Hex on the DK, so the DK doesn't get XP. That was sweet. But the Fasia is up for grabs. Uh, Vanilla surround, maybe? He's still in range. The slaughterhouse. He need, he need to destroy it. He need to destroy it. Oh, get oh, it! it. Ooh, that was okay. huge. 
that was a really big deal. Honestly, if it doesn't get that, he is so far behind. Yeah. But this slows down statues by a ton. Possibly also destroyers. Yeah, also destroyers. Oh, but still no tier 3 tech by focus. Oh my god, dude, this base attack. I never knew could be so effective at damaging the lumber economy. Yeah, yeah, all the peons in the boroughs, and not really much that he could do. He invests more into a raider now. Very intricate situation. Not a game that you oftentimes play. Maybe on ladder. I mean, obviously, these guys are facing each other a lot. Yeah, Focus looks a bit flustered. Seems like this is a position he's not very familiar with. Perhaps might not know what to do next. Oh, we got the Vamp Aura, which is fantastic for Gargs in air fights. Going to the top of the turtle, by the way. Sorry about the spikes. This is the server. Can't really do much about it. Except Pretty insane experience lead now for Happy, though. Oh, I think you bebbed back into okay territory? No, unfortunately not. Still the spikes. Would love to lag again. It's a 50-50 chance if I get good routing to the server or bad routing to the server. You know, sometimes it'd be like that. Casino Warcraft. Again, it work. Okay, now we gotta reconnect. Dude, it's still spiking like mad. Crap. Oh, somebody's gotta say something soon. I might have to leave. It's not getting better. We could, in theory, use slow TV. We just have yeah. to fast forward then. Yeah. Shit, shit, shit. Sorry about that, guys. Um, not what we want. Not what we want at all. <sighs> ah, this annoys me. And yeah, we're gonna have a bit of downtime here, but the good thing is we're not gonna miss anything. Flow TV is gonna catch us up nicely. In a little bit. Yep. As fast as possible. 700 APM joining games now. It's just the eight minute mark. That means in two and a half minutes we'll be back. Hopefully they continue playing. Ay, 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 ay. That's how it goes sometimes. It is uh, the German telecom ISP that is forcing these. The server itself is totally fine. Just to telecom routing to that specific server. We tried absolutely everything. Still be like that. Sometimes you're just stuck in this edge. Sums up basically my entire life. <laughs> you enjoy that, don't you? Ah, uh, we all we about those moments sometimes. How far along are we? I am getting there. I am at the Happy Tech. When you have this, of course, we'll take match point in this series. Get to one step away from the semi-final. Waiting in the semi-final already is a huge legend of this scene, of this game. The most legendary player of all time, in fact, Moon, the Knight of God, is waiting for the winner of this in the semi-final. The semi-finals will be played tomorrow, along with the grand final, of course. Tomorrow is a day you don't want to miss, that's for sure. After early church service, we're all going to be back here to witness the wonders um, of 1v1 and 2v2. 2v2 grand final also tomorrow. About to say the same, like we got two grand finals tomorrow and the semifinals. Moon is Focus's biggest fan right now. I have arrived at the Slaughterhouse kill in a bit. That, of course, goes hand in hand with the Shadowhunter kill. 
but yeah, should be there in a second. So finally, well, it's kind of odd. We see Wyvern and Raiders at the same time. Focus definitely uh, switches things up. Guess he gotta, he has to. Are you live already? Um, no, I'm in the game, in the normal game. You're in the normal game. I will have a delay, of course. Yeah, somebody has to keep an eye, admin. True, 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 true. All right, this is uh, the state when I left. So I think we're joining here again. We got everybody fighting for the turtle here. And we get raiders out. Ay ay ay. That was an instant snipe. Sweet and snare, but only on one guard. The second one has to be hexed like so much used on just controlling the gargs a little bit in the absence of bad riders. First wyvern dies regardless. B scroll. Oh, the Nova. And it's over. <laughs> oh, okay, all that for so little. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, lol, happy wins. Um, this was super disruptive. And I reckon you guys are waiting for me. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Obviously, on top, my game crashes. Yeah, that was a bit anticlimactic. Um, happy match points. Nothing really worked out for Focus here on Turtle Rock. Yeah, unfortunately not. Um... That's how it gay goes. Games sometimes. That's how it goes sometimes. Um, just gotta make sure I got my stuff set. I got time for one more map, ladies and gentlemen. Then I will have to go. Um, uh, focus in the lobby twice. Is that a bug? That looks like a bug, but he also has different ping. Happy for me is in an observer slot. Yeah. Rehost, I guess. Rehost needs another name. Yep. <laughs> I apologized for uh, my disconnect. Happy answered with dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he, accept, he, he accepts my apology. All right, but we got the next map selected. That one is Hammer Fall. The players are ready. So here we go. We go on indeed. Last loses map for focus. Happy match points. And we'll see if he closes it out. Problematic situation for focus. He started into this series so well. And then things went along Happy's way more and more, making adjustments. Good luck, focus, I think. All right, let's see what we get now. The Farseer here didn't lead to the strong mid game that I was expecting. I mean, it was a very weird game. The attack into the main base really seemed to derail everything. I wonder if that should trigger an adjustment in borough placement. Because um, the shop you don't really need, right? You can let the shop go. The borough is really the scary thing. So perhaps having the boroughs in the back and having the beast series in the back should be a priority next. Is it Farseer? Is oh, it... No, it's not. No, it's not. Blade, Blade again. Yeah, that looked uh, way more promising. And it is also more entertaining. But it is a Blade play Trump. with an early shop. It's going to be slowing down the tech compared to before. But it's going to make the Blade Master a lot more dangerous out on the map. Going to give him a lot more playmaking opportunities. He's going to be able to get in, do some damage, take some damage and heal again. Get ready for the next round. 
Destruction. Thank you for the next sub. Nine months. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Chat is uh, appreciating that. Happy is, of course, not switching anything up. Why would he? He's on a very successful road onto the semifinal right now. And this might be the 30th win in a row. Not in a row. In the past 31 matches between the two. But come on, focus. I want game five. I'm sure we all do. Especially if it's going to be a close encounter of the third kind again. Weren't you a fan of... Uh, the X-Files? Fan is a bit much. I watched it back in the 90s. Then I was excited for the... for the relaunch. And I watched one episode and then that was it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes things are better left behind. Mm -hmm. I was a big fan of the Deadwood TV series. When they made that TV movie though, uh, it was... Decent. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't as good as the show, but it was pretty good. The master video. shows up, doesn't quite have the timing to get the last hit. Windwalk just expired, so the DK does get level 2, but the blade is still looking for blood. Gets a ghoul. DK is pretty low mana. But the blade's damage not too impressive just yet. Focus can heal up soon, now that the dust wore off, Happy has another charge, he can of course also heal up with the ritual dagger that he bought this time in the early, expecting some sort of harass at least. But running away, oh block. Oh, both oh, are trying to force mana of each other, there we go, and that was Windwalk without heal self, so this is cancelled once he activates the healing. And one blue was also chasing after him. Pushing him further away. This is a really solid play so far by Happy. I also appreciate that he went for the hard to predict creep route at the shop first. And this is some decent items, some good experience already for Happy. Not the early game Focus was hoping for. Again, third time in a row. Very, very similar to the Focus Sonic series, really. First game, surprise build by the underdog. Second game, close, but then in the end, not really. And then from there on out, the favorite prevails. Focus. It's up to him, man. It's all up to him. He is at the right place at the right time, but how much damage can he do? Oh, another ghoul goes down. This is the second one for the blade. Almost had the last hit. Oh man, that was a split second. He was already jumping in the air with excitement. But happy got the last hit, and that's almost level three for him. If the Sasquatch goes to Happy, which seems likely, he will have achieved his goal. Blade at 30% roundabout. Coil used defensively, splits his forces, trying to make sure to get the Sasquatch. Happy will not allow this XP to go to Focus's account. Unusually high amount of dust also being bought here for a Happy game. He wants to have the vision, and the vision he has gives no free last hit to this Blade Master. He's almost out of self here. He's definitely out of HP. Ghoul still attacking. This did take Happy a long time. But eventually he gets level 3 right as the Shadow Hunter steps out the door. And that makes for a good early game for Happy. He got a bunch of items. I would say not the most amazing items. Would have loved to have especially more damage. On the damage side is rather low. Although those other items could also help. Oh, focus looking for stragglers. The ghoul's on the way home. Gets one, but the experience difference is huge here. Yeah, Focus has some catching up to do. No items, no experience, no crits. This is all a bit uncomfortable for Focus Pocus. He does need the Super Saiyan magic that the emote suggests. He at least gets the Wyvern and he gets the tier three. So this is already a bit better than game two. A player's forces are under attack. Happy quite late with the slaughterhouse. He used a lot of ghouls for creeping early. So the lumber was low. This is gonna make for very low, late statues indeed. But with how strong the heroes are, how strong the early game was, I think Happy doesn't mind too much. Also finally found a pair of claws. The DK fully slotted. 
can't say the same about Blade nor Shadow Hunter, but you can say the same about the claws. Damage on the blade is looking solid. Happy sharking around, Invis, thanks to the dust, Player but four. Focus is not giving him the opportunity here. Creeps somewhere else. And hex the rock golem though. Unfortunately. Okay, I guess. Well, and focus looks a bit timid. Yeah. And understandably. It's a really strong early game. Oh, the crit prevents the coil steal. That was fortunate. The wyvern might still be in trouble. Wind of mana stealing. Wind of mana stealing both used immediately. More hex, more damage. He wants to fight right here, right now. At least four now. First Nova spammed. There's no heal wave, of course. Brute force focus. Wait, can he kill him? There's no TP. There's no reveal. Is there? Needs to go to the lab. Reveal. Here we go. And that is the kill. Got him. Got him. And that's happy overstepping. Rare mistake. Happy feeling perhaps a bit overconfident after this early game. And Focus is back in the game, baby. He 100% is. And Venom Spears is up. First attack upgrade is coming as well. More Wyvern, more creeping. More winds of mana stealing. And it's always a good item these days. Focus almost now online. The 50 Supply Wyvern Army, the double level 3, is right around the corner. Good news for Happy is at least he can sort the level of the Lich right now. Although he's not creeping the biggest camps. Death Knight is sidelined for a long time. You mentioned the Lumber on Happy's side. This does not only reduce or, or delay his Slaughterhouse. This also delays the Shade. So focus for now. Can move without being detected. That is lovely. Gets a Ring of Protection as well, which I think is very good. And he sells it. They still don't appreciate armor enough. Yep. Somewhat understandable, I think, as well, though. The Wyvern are going to be the premier target all the time. Focus looking for the next creep, Jack. But a Gagra was sent left behind and was looking out for that. Good awareness by Happy as well. He's got the orb finally, and the BK is about to return. Shadowhunter closing in on level 3. Watch awards again, fantastic against possible shades. And focus, man, he got that bloodlust. Yeah, I realized a bit too late that the DK was coming out or back, and uh, that means can't quite get that kill. But the Bad Rider also survives. Focus with a big supply lead here. How's he gonna make use of it? That's the question. For now, he goes into 60 again. Shop control constantly. In wool heal scrolls up for grabs as displayed in our new overlay. A second attack. Sentry voice as well. Pretty nice against the shades. <laughs> Did you say that? Yep. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> classic Remo. Classic Undead, Coil Nova, and classic Happy to follow this up with an Alchemist. Mana is low on Happy. This isn't a very good fight at all. The Bad Riders could try to get the connection against the Garrigs. Going for the Death Knight now. Target fire. Where are the Destros? Here's the first one. Seems a bit late to the party. Can he reach again? There's another Hex, but he wants to preserve it for more Heal Wave, I guess. Solid retreat by Happy, not losing anything. We still have a heal scroll. This takes quite some time. This is, of course, time for the statue to work. And there's a lot of work to be done. Death Knight and Lich, both pretty much dry. This is the perfect position for the Orc to fight, honestly, when there's no Novas to worry about. Alchemist has pl plenty of mana. He basically always does. But the Lich is looking fairly dry at the moment. Well, good thing he has Dark Ritual, eh? Freaking dark ritual, dude. <laughs> Friggity flibbity. Oh, next big item. Not yet. Playing around it. Ghoul denied. Yeah, Ghoul is, of course, not so impressive anymore. Ensnare might trigger the engagement here. Today really is the day of Ensnares. Harry Nova, big target, takes out the Wyvern. 
Parrot of Vitality for focus. It's all about, oh, not all about, it's a lot about heroes here, of course. And takes away a good chunk of XP on happy side of the map, where we have double armor upgrades again. It's quite a lot of gargs. The bats haven't gotten the connections yet. Trying to finally get in range, but happy is perfectly playing out of range basically all the time. Same for focus. There was a coil flying almost already in the air, but Bat Rider just get out of range. There's some high quality Warcraft right here, man. Focus is rich. Very rich. 800 gold, but happy knows what he's up to. The shade once again tasked with spy services. James Bond over here. Happy, ready gun, to rock. Should be safe from a coil now. Also close to a shop, as you said. This fight, when he gets more smashed, items, double heal scroll. That's three heal scrolls total. Can the bad riders finally connect? I think there's only been one single connection so far. Oh, now they can. There's one. There's two. Wee, that was a sweet one. One here Should you go stone form, by the way? Nobody goes stone form. Wouldn't that be good? Ooh, I guess. I should send Happy a DM again. Tell him how he should play. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to appreciate it. As long as you're not blocked. Oh, turtle. Big pickup. One of the wind. This could be a playmaker here. Shadowhunter needs mana. Ideally has to get up. There's no TP. This might be the last fight here. Wyvern falling. Not part of the fight. It's all down to the heroes. The Garks are getting a connection. More Wyvern are falling. And what is Focus getting done? Not much it seems like. Shadowhunter lucky to get away. The coil and acid bomb forced the invuln on the blade also. That was a slaughter against the Wyvern. Really seems like when they're in a bad spot and the Garks get to them, they get... Annihilated it quick. Bad order count here didn't seem to be high enough. Focus gives the lead back to Happy. Ooh, and that's quite a significant one. He did delay Lich level 3 for a while. Also preserved the heal scrolls. Wasn't a full commitment as the Shadow Hunter was low. Greedy, greedy. Both are kind of broke. Both will be up around 50. Happy is getting level 3 at the natural expansion of Focus, but the bigger camp, the Rock Golem camp, up for grabs, and we got a Ring of Regeneration, and oh boy, is that a great item right now. Shade still sees all happy, has a lot of options here of what he can go for. Hitting the Orc main base with reinforced defenses, oftentimes not the most beneficial thing to do, so happy is on the chase. Looking for, ideally, another Creepjack. The Shades are getting scanned, they're getting revealed and killed, but still, they give the information to the undead. Damage is done indeed. Oh, these Novas, man, they hurt so big. Focus, desperate attempt going for the hero focus. Bad Rider detonating, but not much. We still have two heal scrolls, which Focus might need now. SH, tournament life on the line. A little bit of damage trickling in. The Ring of Region would be great now, of course. SH survives. That could theoretically open the door for Focus a little bit if he can get out. But the Alchemist is already waiting. Acid Bomb only hits the air. SH is safe. Blade chasing. Oh, one more hit. And the TP is right there. Happy here playing a really impressive micro game as he does so often. Seems to be taking the lead here one step at a time. Supply might be even, but the heroes are getting stronger. Lich just got level 3. Alchemist is very strong, very close now to it as well. And Focus seems to be fizzling out here. What is his... What's his out? How's he going to win this game? That's the big question, man. Crit, crit, crit. Let it rain, let it rain. But of course, Happy knows that. Here's number one. Nuke on the Blade Master was nice. Shadowhunter out of mana. No more items. This is all that Focus has, and it's not much. Yeah, Mikkel Rage on the Alchemist, also decent damage to the Blade Master damage output. Not the most terrifying, but once more there's no Frost Armor to make his life more difficult. As we're both back at 50 supply. No expo to fall back onto, shop control, everything up for grabs, invo potion, amazing to get safety from the Hail Mary attacks. Shaving off some HP, but the Coil Nova is always there. Good save so far by Focus, I gotta say. Sends them back, and of course, Acid Bomb is lethal. 
Shit, a hunter here, completely out of mana. So is the DK though, except for that one coil, which he uses just in time. Back at home, time for some mana potions, it should be. As yes, he's working on more upgrades, by the way. About to be on 0-3 for the air units. That's so crazy, man. That is the moment in the game where bad riders are obsolete. Focus is fighting for survival, but he's not getting closer to a win at the moment. And the last big camp on the map here seems to go to Happy now as well. Focus has been pushed back. Intimidated enough, I suppose. Oh, and that's a good final item for Happy to find on this map. The mana stone for him. Hallelujah. Yeah, I think... It's fairly safe to say that Moon should get the Fire Lord ready for tomorrow. The Rara Land rematch is getting closer and closer. Long distance mining for Focus. 18 minutes in. He's trying to expand now, but oh, that yells desperation. Happy's gonna see it here quickly. The shade's giving so much vision. <laughs> He scouted These that. Been making the life for orcs so difficult lately. That's right, man. He scouted that in seven seconds. <laughs> That's uh, just happy things, I guess. Double cancel once again. Focus is indeed rich, but I don't think happy minds. His heroes are now so strong. As a bomb nova, so much damage over time. Focus doesn't have the heal spells right now to counteract all this damage. The spells are just crazy. Getting rid of one unit after the next. He can't really connect to uh, Hex because if he Hexes, then he has no heal wave. And that's the only source of healing that he got. Damage over time, over and over and over time. <sighs> Happy might just commit in now. Yeah. Shadow is out of mana. There's no heal scrolls on the orc side. This could very much be an easy fight. Great shop control by Happy in the last three minutes. This AoE is Oh, absurd. Jesus. GG. It's too much. Too it much. It is indeed too much. Our winner of the quarterfinal, joyous as ever, representing Team Aurora, also on Championship Sunday tomorrow, is the man who wears the first hero in his name, Dimitri Kostin. Yeah, very well done. Seems like happy belongs in the semifinals, perhaps even belongs in the grand finals. Sometimes he was kept from getting there by players like Sok, for example. Speaking of which, Sok is also still in this tournament. A happy Sok grand final rematch, avenging time in the grand final. That would be quite something. 